Basic medical sciences, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about insulinomas. Insulinomas are neuroendocrine tumors that arise from beta cells of the pancreas. Less than 1% of the insulinomas occur at ectopic sites, for example, the spleen. Approximately 90% of insulinomas occur as solitary tumors. Most of them occur sporadically and over 90% of them are benign. Approximately 5% of insulinomas are associated with multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. Clinical features. The main clinical feature is hypoglycemia. Do you remember the function of insulin? Is uptake of glucose from the blood into the cells, right? And also uptake of amino acids, but here we are focusing on glucose. So if we have high levels of insulin because of these insulinomas, we have hypoglycemia and also lethargy, syncope, and diplopia or double vision. The symptoms can be relieved by administration of glucose and the patient will also have weight gain. They can be symptoms characteristic of other endocrine neoplasia, right? They can occur there. I need you to remember the Whipple's triad, right? So this include low plasma glucose concentration, signs or symptoms consistent with hypoglycemia, and relief of symptoms when plasma glucose increases after treatment. That's the Whipple triad. Diagnosis of insulinomas. If we check uh, plasma glucose, we will see that the patient is hypoglycemic with inappropriately high insulin level. That's hyperinsulinism. Fasting test. It will be positive if the serum glucose remains low, like less than 40 milligrams per deciliter, and insulin level remains high even after fasting for 72 hours. Next will be the C-peptide. So do you remember C-peptide? It's released the same time as insulin normally, right? So in this case, you see that it will be elevated and this elevation is not seen uh, with exogenous insulin, like if the patient um, inject himself or herself with insulin, right? The C-peptide will be low. Elevated C-peptide and pro-insulin levels may also be the result of sulfonuria use because this one stimulates the release of uh, insulin that's together with C-peptide and pro-insulin. So this can be ruled out by screening the serum samples of sulfonylureas. Another method is imaging, right? Endoscopic ultrasonography, CT, MRI, selective angiography, Right, so these are actually important for surgical planning. Treatment, uh, number one here we have surgery, right? So it's a treatment of choice if the tumor is operable. Surgical enucleation of pancreatic adenoma by either open surgery or laparoscopy. We can use this method as well. Medications. Medications are usually indicated if the tumor is inoperable or if there is a recurring hypoglycemic attacks despite surgery. So the drugs are actually inhibitors of insulin release. They include diazoxide and octreotide. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. And most importantly, subscribe. Peace out.